Well, with crime a persistent issue in Philadelphia, many are hopeful today that a change in City Hall may result in a change on the streets. Voters overwhelmingly elected Democrat Sherelle Parker as Philadelphia's 100th mayor last night. She becomes the first woman elected to that job, and she's made public safety her top priority. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin has more tonight on the change voters eagerly ushered in. Voters in Philadelphia have elected the city's 100th mayor. It is the most difficult job politically in American politics. Democrat Sherelle Parker defeating Republican David O to become the first woman to lead the city. A mayor like uh, Parker will be able to bring some, you know, some energy, some fresh ideas. Uh, I think judging by her campaign and judging by her acceptance speech last night, there's going to be a focus on public safety. Parker calls public safety her top priority as she plans to add more patrols in city neighborhoods and fill vacancies within the police department and the 911 call center. She's also in need of a new police commissioner. But he or she would be responsible for crafting the plan to reduce crime. As a former teacher, Parker is also focused on education. Her main goal is to keep public schools in the city open year round for students, particularly when they're being raised by someone other than their biological parent, they can benefit from creative year-round scheduling. When it comes to the economy, Parker has proposed raising the minimum wage in the city to more than $17 an hour. Dr. Kennedy says there's another key issue she'll have to tackle in office. So the Sixers Arena, uh, which is, you know, has got, obviously has uh, many impacts many, many different groups in, in the city. Parker received the overwhelming majority of the vote in Tuesday's election, but officials in the city say just about 28% of registered voters in Philly cast their ballots. Yeah, obviously, it didn't hurt the Democrats this time, but it's something that has got to be very concerning looking ahead to the 2024 election. We are expecting to hear more about Sherelle Parker's transition team in the coming days and her pick for police commissioner in the coming weeks. Along the Parkway, I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News.